This is huge. Is there any way to create chat GPT assistants using API? Is there any way to customize your chat GPT assistants in your Node.js application? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about chat GPT assistant API, and we are going to integrate this in a node application. I'm going to take you through step-by-step -step guide on how to set this up. As a prerequisite, you need Node and NPM package manager, which you can download and install it from Node.js website. To create an assistance API in Node.js, these are the steps. First, you are creating an assistant, and then next, you're creating thread, next, you're creating a message, and then you're running it. Assistant is your chat GPT bot, and I'm going to configure this as math tutor in this application. Next, you're creating a thread, this is like initiating a chat. Next message could be anyone. It could be any user. In our use case, I'm using student. So the student is going to ask question to the math tutor. Finally, we are going to run this. Now let's dive into the code. First in your terminal, npm install openAI and click enter. Next export your openAI API key like this and click enter. Next, if you open the package.json, make sure you mention the type as module because we are going to create it as ECMAScript. Next, we are going to create a file called assistant.js and we are going to open the file. Inside the file, import openAI from openAI. Next, create a constant openAI equals new openAI. This will automatically use your openAI key for our further interaction with openAI API. As we can see in the image, the first step is creating assistant, then thread, then message, and then run. Let's create assistant. Assistant equals await openAI.beta.assistance.create. Then we are closing the bracket. Then we are giving a name for our assistant, that is math tutor. Next, we are providing instructions. You are a personal math tutor, write and run code to answer math questions. Next, we are adding tools to include. I'm using code interpreter, and this is used to solve any complicated math problems. Next, I'm going to define the model, which is GPT-4 Turbo. Step one, assistant is created now. Next, we are going to create a thread. Constant thread equals await openai.beta.threads.create. Now we have created the thread. Thirdly, we are going to create message. Constant message equals await openai.beta.threads.messages.create. In this, you are providing the thread ID. This will create a message. Using this message, the student is going to ask a question to the tutor. Now we are defining the role, that is user. Next, we are giving the content. Content is, I need to solve an equation. 3x plus 11 equals 14. Can you help me? That is the question student is asking the math tutor. Finally, we are going to run this. So we're going to create constant run and then await openai.beta.threads.runs.create. Then we are providing the thread ID and then we are closing the bracket. Here we are providing our assistant ID. Next, we are providing instructions. Please address the user as Mervin Prison. That's it. We have now completed assistant, thread, message and run. Now we are going to print out this run and then see what's happening. Let's go to your terminal and type node assistant.js and click enter. Now we got a response. It is created at the assistant ID, the thread ID. It expires at and we got the model name and please address the user as Mervin Prison, the code interpreter. Mainly we can see the status is queued. It will take few seconds for it to process the request. So now next step is to check if the status is completed. If the chase status is completed, then print all the messages from the thread. To check the status, we are creating constant check status and print messages. It's an async message. Here we are providing the thread ID and the run ID. These both are required to check the status of the message. Next, we are opening the flower bracket and then closing it. Then let run status equals await openai.beta.threads.runs and then we are retrieving dot retrieve thread ID and run ID. This will retrieve the run. From that, we can check the status. If run status dot status equals completed. Next, we are opening the bracket. We need to get all the messages. Let messages equals await openai dot beta dot threads dot messages dot list. This will automatically retrieve all the list of messages sent by the student and the tutor. Now we are going to run this messages in the for each loop. Messages dot data dot for each message. Then we are closing the bracket and closing the outer bracket. Now we're going to add the role, which is message dot role. And then we are retrieving the content message dot content zero dot text dot value. That's where the content is. Next, we are logging in the console. The console dot log will print all the messages. 
So we're going to add a else statement if the status is not completed, console.log run is not completed. So in this step, we are checking the status. If it's completed, print all the messages one by one by passing it to the for each loop or else log run is not completed. Then we are going to set timeout. This is because we are sometime it might take 10 seconds or 20 seconds to complete the request. So for now, I'm going to make it wait for 10 seconds. So set timeout, check status and print message. Here I'm going to pass the thread ID and the run dot ID. And we are closing the bracket, comma. Now we need to tell how much time to wait. I'm going to make that wait for 10 seconds. I'm closing the bracket and colon. That's it. So this set timeout will check the status every 10 seconds. As a quick overview, we first we created assistant and set the model name, the name, and provide the instruction that the assistant is a math tutor. Next, we create a thread to initiate the chat. Next, we are creating a message that is a student asking the question to the math tutor. Next, we are running the thread. After that, we are waiting for 10 seconds and then checking the status of the run. If the status is completed, then we are printing all the messages within the thread. Now we are going to run this code. In your terminal, type node assistant.js and click enter. I'm waiting for the response. I got an error here, role equals. If I go and I miss the constant, C-Y-N-S-T. I'm going to run that again, assistant.js. I'm getting one more error. Again, the constant, to define that. Going to run that again, assistant ID, thread ID, the status is queued. Now I got the response. Here you can see, as a user, that's a student asked a question, 3x plus 11 is equals 14. And we got answer from the assistant, that's the math tutor. The solution of the equation is, that's it, as simple as that. I'm going to make more advanced tutorial as an extension of this one, so stay tuned. I will regularly create videos in regards to AI in my YouTube channel, so please go and have a look. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe, and thanks for watching.